Okay, so Lawson, in total there's 12 different dash options. Let's simplify that a bit. I know one way we could cut it in half is if the guy's going with the CD5 series or a CD7 series, the five inch or the seven inch, talk a little bit about those differences. Yeah, so let's start there. This is the CD7 carbon dash and it has a seven inch diagonal display, 480 by 800 screen resolution. And this is our CD5 carbon dash. It is exactly the same as this dash, carbon fiber composite enclosure, 480 by 800, daylight readable, seven ultra bike programmable LEDs, uh, software is the same. You can even transfer layouts from the 7 to the 5 and vice versa. The only difference is that this is now a 5-inch diagonal screen. We offer uh, some available upgrades within each dash. We have your standard display dashes, which you get the CAN dash and you put the CAN channels in and it displays the channels and you have you know all the functionality of the software, but there's no logging nice. and no GPS. Gotcha. We also have an iteration that is only GPS. So okay. you can get a digital dash display with GPS and no logging. So uh, I don't want to log. I have, an, I have a different logger. In fact, I'm sending those channels from my logger via CAN bus to the dash. But I, I would like to have GPS so that I can create track maps, do lap timing, predictive lap timing, all of those types of things. Um, you can do that with just the GPS versions of that. And those are on board. And those are also identified by the little receiver okay. in the back, the golden receiver in the back. So for just plug that GPS. in with the antenna and you're good to go? Super easy, yeah. Just plug this bad boy in, put this in a location where the satellites are gonna find it, and you've got your GPS data. In addition to the display only and the GPS only, we offer a logging only version. Logging only, and that's what we'll be using on the Starion. Yeah, and that's a really good path. I mean, if you think at all you're gonna wanna add acceleration forces or the gyroscope, if you're gonna add those things, don't get the GPS module. Um, get the dash with the logger, and then get your vehicle dynamics module. It's gonna give you all the channels super easy in a one-plug connection. If you're only gonna be doing trap mapping and lap timing, then the GPS, uh, the internal GPS in the dash is, is a really natural and affordable path to get all of that data and, you know, without the other stuff that you may not be using. So okay, so now I feel a little bit more comfortable. We've now explained basically six versions of the dash. Mm -hmm. Now is there a One logging? more iteration. Oh wait, there's a logging plus GPS. Yes. Gotcha. We start with the basic display. We give you the option for GPS, the option for logging, or the option to add both GPS and logging and have everything internal ready to go right out of the box. You know, the nomenclature is a little funky. It's, you know, CD7 for the basic one, CD7L for logging, CD7G for GPS enabled, and CD7LG for logging with GPS. Okay, good. We add one more letter though. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, yes, the letter <laughs> F. And okay. it's not what you'd think. But, but this Get is, your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> this is the easiest part. So this is, we, we now understand eight of them, so now we're gonna understand the other eight of them. Right. And this is the real simple part right yeah, there. Yeah, this is where it gets super easy to explain. So we've got our original design, and our original design comes with an integrated shade hood and the, uh, the LEDs, the shift lights, the seven programmable LEDs are integrated into the shade hood hmm. and they're recessed back a little bit. Uh, you also have buttons on the dash. So you can change pages here, clear values and times off of this button. We have people asking, well, I, I wanna flush mount it, I want it to look flat. Um, I've got a little tighter of an area that I need to do an installation. I'm worried even that maybe the five won't fit with, with the shade hood. So we developed the F the flat panel versions. From a feature standpoint, they're exactly the same. So you can get one display only, logging only, GPS only, or logging with GPS. They still have seven integrated programmable LEDs, the two other LEDs for whatever you may want to use those for, but uh, you know, again, with, with text warnings, unlimited text warnings, and, and a dedicated alarm page, uh, these could become your turn signals. <laughs> <laughs> again, the only real difference is the physical profile. It's thinner. It's a little shorter, so it's gonna fit in tighter places, and you can really kind of design around it to make a really flush custom installation. So if you're putting a location that doesn't need a hood at all, um, this could flush mount in there and just make for a cleaner installation. 
Now the buttons, because it doesn't have those externally mount mounted buttons, mm -hmm. you can yes. address that with this? Yeah, actually, you can put these buttons on either. We have provisions oh, okay. on the harness for this. If you don't want to reach in and make the changes on the buttons on the dash, you can add remote buttons. But if you have a flat panel and you want to be able to change pages, you're gonna need some buttons. Um, again, they work the same as these two. You're gonna wire them into the harness. It's really easy. One is going to allow you to change pages and then the other one is gonna allow you to reset timers and clear values. Well, since you said the new software is so much easier to use, are you gonna come back and show us that? I would love to come back and show you. I'm gonna bring someone smarter than me to kill. <laughs> right on. Well, Lawson, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Hey, thanks uh, for we, having me. We learned a lot and we should also know Right now, it doesn't matter if you have an AEM system or not. It's CAN that's important, and what AEM does, probably better than most of the companies out there, is make it very compatible. They're very open with the architecture. They want it to work with pretty much any CAN system out there. Some of the other guys may not want to, so if you're looking for a dash or something, or a solution that might work with everything, uh, AEM's a, a good place to start. Um, but understanding CAN and what it can do for you was really, what this message was about today, and I want to thank you again for taking the time and uh, enlightening us to the product line that you guys have. Man, I had so much fun. Thanks for having me, Alan. I thank really you. appreciate it. Thank you.